Hello everybody and welcome back to this week's episode of Try It Outdoors. Now, before the video starts, I need to get a little bit of a disclaimer. As you guys saw in the title, this is a squirrel hunting episode, so there is gonna be things that are going to die. If you guys aren't okay with that, click off the video now. Yeah, I'll do my best to cut around um, to make it as less gruesome as it can be, but the bottom line is this is hunting and this is what it is. Now that we got that out of the way, welcome back everybody. We are gonna be doing squirrel hunting now. I've done a lot of fishing on my channel. Like I said last episode, I'm moving a little more towards hunting now. So being that way, I'm going to do a little squirrel hunting. And I thought today was a perfect day to do this squirrel hunting episode. Because one, it's been really cold lately. Today's like 70 degrees. It's been like 40 degrees, 50 degrees every day. So these squirrels are gonna be out. And the second thing was, it's still early in deer hunting season to where you're not gonna ruin your property by going through and shooting a 22 here and there. Now my goal today is to shoot one or two squirrels, probably two if I could get to, um, and then cut them up. And I think that's important whenever you're hunting something, don't kill just to kill, I'm killing to eat it. And um, that's what kind of validates this in my mind. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna take you into the woods and we are gonna go get us a squirrel or two. Let's do it. So I guess the plan is, you guys, I'm gonna go to the back half of my property because that's where the majority of the squirrels are and I'm gonna go sit up in a stand, I think, and uh, get an idea for where they're coming from, find the oaks again, I gotta remember where they're all at. That's the important thing when you're squirrel hunting is to find different nuts and stuff like that from different trees, whether it be walnuts or acorns and things like that. So I'm gonna go way to the back there, set up in the stand, and uh, yeah, set you guys up from there. And uh, yeah, let's do it. Now we're starting to get a little more into the area where these squirrels are at. It's kind of in the back half of our woods, like I said. So I'm ready for them. They're always timid right away, so you gotta kinda come at them and uh, sit around and wait for them to come out once they get a little more comfortable. Man, I miss being in the woods so much. It's been forever. Okay, so we made it to the point where there's a lot of oaks around here, like all over, and uh, this is where they're gonna be now, as you guys can tell probably. It's been raining a lot here recently, in the past week it's rained a ton. So we're not gonna be able to hear the squirrels, and that's something normally you can hear them just absolutely jumping around on the leaves, you can easily hear them. Um, so today we're gonna have to rely on finding them by sight. I just saw a black squirrel. I'm gonna leave you guys here and take you in the GoPro with me. I gotta get a better angle so that I'm not shooting towards houses. There he goes. He's right down there. There he goes. Down there. There's two of them. I can't shoot that way. They were chasing after each other, so that means they're definitely relaxed. They're not worried about me following that black squirrel. He went right across here. Well, I guess I'm gonna go back and start working my way back towards the big camera. We were following that guy for a long time and I lost him just over here. He, he crossed the trail and I think he went way up into one of these trees. But there's acorns everywhere around here. There's, they're definitely out today. I think we saw three different squirrels at that one point just over here. It was a matter of getting the right angle. So I couldn't quite pull it off on day number one, but we are back out here on day number two. Now it is a couple days later, I'm not gonna lie. I decided to give these squirrels a little break. What I noticed with my property is you kind of go out there, you might shoot one squirrel, let's say in the front, and then if you're lucky, you can get one in the back. But they kind of, once that once they hear that 22 go off, they, uh, they know something's up, so they go up in the trees and they don't usually come down. So anyways, we're back at day number two. It has still been raining for the past like four days. So again, just tough situation, but I'm definitely gonna get one today. I'm feeling it, you guys. Let's get out there. Yeah. 
This right here, guys, is what we're looking for. Anything from deer, squirrels, and whatever else loves these things. This is what we're looking for. Okay, we're coming back up on the gray squirrel. And he's right up in there, and I'm guessing he's still here. We're looking for, for these squirrels from their nest. There he is, he's right down there. Darn it all. Oh, he's in that exact same spot. I didn't have a shot because it was in thick weeds. I can't do anything about it. He's definitely eating something up here. This is definitely a challenge, having to record everything too. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I definitely could have shot there if I didn't have to put you guys down on the tripod. I got one last field we can try for today, but I am getting pretty frustrated right now. I'm not gonna lie. I already saw a red squirrel right over here. Here he is, right down in the field there. Black squirrel. <coughs> Got him. Got him. He dropped. Got him. Woo! There he is, ladies and gentlemen. Nice little uh, black squirrel. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we got the squirrel and we got the knife. So now it is time to cut this guy up. Okay, so it looks like my original shot went just behind his arm. Um, that was like a 25 yard shot, so not bad. It went right in there. And then I put him out of his misery. I just wanted to end it for him because I know he was in a lot of pain. So um, what we're gonna do first is we're gonna break the legs. You're gonna break the legs and then you're gonna cut um, the legs off basically so you guys can see I got the leg here and I'm gonna cut right through there you're gonna have to cut through some bone that's just the way this works so what we're gonna be doing is pretty much peeling the skin off of this guy once we get all his legs off we got to get through all of the crap first now there is a little bit of meat in the uh, in the legs so try and pull that off because there's not very much meat on the squirrel in general but there's a good chunk right there so there's a good chunk of meat right before the armpit so you guys can see, kind of cutting through his arm there. It takes a little while to get through that bone, but you, there's really no way around it. Um, if you want to get all the meat you can off of this guy. Man, they got some tough skin. Okay, there we go. Two arms down. Gonna go to the back. So there's a lot of meat. If you guys can see here, there's a lot of meat right there on his inner leg and then a little bit kind of where your calf would be. There's just a little bit, so again, we're gonna cut right there and right there. And we're gonna, um, again, try and pull off all the meat we can off this guy. Now, after we do finish these legs, I am gonna move on to um, kinda pulling all the, the, the meat around the ribs off. But these back legs are where most of the meat is for these guys. You guys can see a big chunk right there. I might actually, you guys can see a really big chunk of meat right there. That's kind of what we're after here. And I can actually start peeling this guy's skin off and pulling all his meat out. You guys can see I got most of his leg exposed now. That's really as far as I need to go um, because I got most of his meat exposed. Ah, okay, so we got one leg out now and we gotta start working on the other side. And we got leg number two off, or out. So you guys can see there's actually a good two chunks of meat right there. Um, we'll definitely get those after, but I'm gonna start working up his body now. And, and the idea is to pretty much pull the entire skin off. You gotta cut the tail. I'm starting to peel up his body. And this is when the gutting the squirrel gets a lot easier here. And then I'm just gonna cut his head off here. There's no meat in the head. There is the squirrel right there. We're gonna kind of gut it a little bit like a deer now. Just gonna pull out all his organs and all that. And there you go, guys. That is the 
squirrel pretty much torn apart here. So like I said, there's there's these back strips here that you're gonna be able to pull up meat off of. And then these areas down through here is pretty much just fat or a little layer of skin kind of going over the ribs. So you're not gonna get there, but there's this good strip of meat right through here and then all the way down through the legs. You're just gonna kind of take your time. Very tough meat on these guys. You're gonna take your time and just cut chunks off. Okay, so that is the two legs pretty much taken care of. Now what I did was I cut I cut this chunk of meat right off the calf there and I'm gonna take this right up the back. I didn't do a terrible job, I didn't do amazing, but this is about what you can expect. And so ladies and gentlemen, that concludes this week's episode of Try It Outdoors. Now like I said, I never claim to be the best hunter on my channel. I'm just, my mission with this channel is to just get outdoors and get doing stuff. Now going off of that, we didn't obviously kill a ton of squirrels, I only got the one. But it was still so much fun to be able to get out there and hunt. So yeah guys, like I said, we are moving more towards hunting now, but if you guys have anything you want me to hunt in specific or want me to do in specific, let me know down in the comments. Whether it be hunting for geese, ducks, or more squirrels, if you guys wanna see me shoot more squirrels, let me know. I'm curious to see what you guys wanna see. And yeah, guys, we'll see you next week. If you guys enjoyed, let me know. Hit that like and subscribe button. If you guys are new, we've been killing it lately. Just reached 180 subscribers. So I'll see you next week, guys. Peace out.